Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Par and it's time. It's time to play C block. I actually did something. I updated the mods. And uh, that's what why you see this window. I also installed a new mod. I installed um, um module inserter mod i believe i'm not sure how it like how exactly it works we'll figure it out i guess but um yeah i did that and uh, let's let's see how it goes so one thing that i wanted to uh improve i wanted to improve this part a little bit so that we get a slightly better paper production and now the question is uh, how exactly do I upgrade it right what exactly am I supposed to do here maybe something like this will this be enough it should it should be enough I think this upgrade Let's see, and what are this new task? To go to the list. Planner. Based. Wait. The tasks. I'm not really relying on new task, right? Right, let's, let's remove new task. The thing itself, I guess it's fine to leave it. Okay, looking good. So, what I would like to focus on today. In the previous episode, we were discussing like what is like happening with uh, our uh, base and research costs, and uh, I feel like I really need to scale green circuits, and uh, and not only green, but also the wait, can I upgrade this? Um, and, and red ones, we want to scale them. Right. How? I, I need to drop speed models zero somewhere because I am not interested in having them. Like all of the speed models are basically gone. And we have a bit of better speed models. How many should I get? I, I don't know. Maybe like something like this. I'm thinking about beaconing this whole part because our consumption here is pretty low. So how exactly could we do that? That's the question. Let's uh, kind of just take a look approximately at what we could do. This is blue, right? I want I want a purple one actually. So if we place Assembling machine here. Uh, it's gonna take us a while. We can also probably place lots of beacons around it. Yep, a beacon here. We could place beacons basically like this around this machine, right? And we can fill them with uh, speed modules. How? does this part work so this is our process for producing paper and i think we are going for 60 paper well the thing is we don't actually care about paper here that much i mean paper is nice but we care about other stuff uh let's let's build a new let's build a new build we want um wooden board wooden boards we need lots of them, and we'll be producing them from paper. And by lots, I don't know, maybe like 120, uh, might be too much, 90. What would it take to produce this many boards? First of all, we cannot use speed, mo speed model here, but we could use... Uh, well, we cannot use uh, uh, prod models, but we can use speed models. And the beacons, I believe we can place 12, right? That's what we are doing now. We can place 12 of these modules. What will happen? 
Wait, if you pick on this that much, we need 21. Well, this is some gun machines. That is huge. What if we get another module? So that means instead of 3 on the corner, we'll have 3 plus 3 plus 2. It's like 5 and 3, 8. 8 times 4. Can we build them? Can we, can we produce the beacons? Harmony crystal shard beacon. I think we might be able to do that. Okay, uh, 32, right? That's what we just said. And in theory, have... Uh, so, right now, we need 21. If you say 32, here. Then we'll need only 11. Is it reasonable to go for this amount? For 90 wooden boards. Per second. I don't know. I am not sure. So this thing requires phenolic board. We're producing two phenolic boards from two wooden boards. And right now our production of uh, I guess uh, circuits, building circuits is uh, 3.6 per minute, so it's 60. So it's 60 per second. Uh, wait, so if we go for wooden boards, we're producing how many? We're producing 60 per second, we're producing lots of them. So is it worth it? I, I don't think beaconing this up worth it because we'll just be wasting... Um... Right, let's not beacon the thing because we'll only be wasting uh, beacons. Like, they, they are probably really, really good for... Um, They're probably really good for prod modules, but for the regular setup, I don't think um, it's a good idea. Now, in order to produce 180 of uh, this, we need 65. So, well, actually, not even 65. If we add speed modules, it's like 2 to 1. Sorry, 1 to 2. And this thing, we are going, we are doing it using this process, I believe. For which we can also, wait, we will not be doing that. We can speed, speed, speed back on that part. We'll almost get what we want here. Except the part with the, the belt here. Wait. Right. Can we speed this up even further? I don't think we can. Oh, what's the problem? Um, this thing is a little bit slowish. We could upgrade it. I guess. Yep, we could just upgrade this part. This is Algae Farms 3. We could also upgrade this one to be Algae Farms 4. I guess we could upgrade this whole part and maybe even this one. Wait. What is this? Oh, model inserter. Okay. Like that. And this one's electrolyzers 2. Do we have electrolyzers 3? That's the question. Electrolyzers 3. Well, we do have, we even have electrolyzers 4 that we can, in theory, produce. And let's upgrade this part. Right. That's very, very interesting. So, what do we have here? These things uh, just don't seem to be fast enough to me. Let's upgrade them. Let's upgrade this part. 
we can upgrade maybe all of these inserters. Not that it really matters. Okay, so we will not be using this process, I guess, with uh, beacons here. It just doesn't make sense for the wood. What does make sense is to add a little bit of speed models here. Because with speed models, the speed is 150% faster. That should be a significant change, actually. And we can do the same thing here, right? We could uh, speed beacon all of this. Oh, wait. I ran out of speed beacons. Wow. We need lots of them. We want to produce L. Well, not produce. Yeah. We want to make lots of speed uh, models. Exactly. I'm missing here. I'm missing inserts. That's. That is. Okay. So here we have it. Uh, I might want to. At oh wow, I can speed module firing stacks. Interesting. At the plan two, is this the best? I am not sure. I'm not sure whether that's the best one. Anyway, the idea is that okay, we are producing white liquor. We have enough of it. Uh, it's going here, and this things, this things require cellulose fibers. This stuff, and this is pretty slow now. So how about we add this to the blue ones? Well, let's put modules. Make the spot a little bit better. This also coming. Good. And the last one. Uh, what is this? Moving sort of. Okay, here it's coming. It is coming. That's good. Nice. So we sped all of this uh, up. This wait, this part. Can be upgraded. Not really. Still fairness. This might be the slowest part now, but um, it's okay. Now what I'd like to do, I'd like to add speed models to this one, this one, probably this two. And uh, of course I'd like to upgrade this inceptors as well. If we upgrade all of these inserters, what exactly are we missing? What are we missing? It probably there. So yeah, like here, and maybe we have a couple of them somewhere else. It's okay. So now, what's happening with the wooden boards? It's it's really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell whether anything at all improved there or not. Very hard to tell. One thing that we seem to be struggling with... Looks like we are struggling with... Uh... Oh wait, not like that. Not like that. We are struggling with... Uh this stuff with delivering um right, we'll just make it uh, go there oh i don't need it here actually right i need it to go up there and then kind of go like this. Okay, let's try. We are speeding this part up. 
and we are turning this around so that they are reaching I would say here approximately the middle this is the middle right so we can remove this part okay let's see the problem is that the problem is this part we I'd like it to be a little bit faster And for that, uh, we'll have to merge things here. We'll have to merge them there. This part I'll probably place there. And we'll have it getting merged like this. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen now. We are not getting enough carbon dioxide this stuff let's speed it up can we have other models there? not really mm, we might want to split this part up as well just in case make sure that uh, we are given enough of uh, carbon dioxide to all of that. So let's see what happens now. This should have helped the situation a little bit, but I, I'm just not sure how far, uh, how much more I can be improving this particular uh, area. Oh wait, this is looking wrong. We want it to go like this. Is there anything we can do? I mean, in theory, we could like try placing a beacon here somewhere, but we don't actually have a good space for it. We could uh, place a beacon, I guess, here and here. And, you know, just hope that uh, that's uh, good enough. Yeah, let's just speed this, part, uh, speed this up a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay, what's happening? We're getting everything. Just uh, slow with... Uh, very, very actually slow with outputting the thing. Maybe not. I mean, it, this part is working on stop. Basically, this part is working on stop, so I guess it's uh, it's okay. And the second one started working right now. So let's see what uh, happens. Uh, we'll get the beacon. Beacons. Beacon beacons. Nice. We sped this thing a little bit up so it's uh, slightly more faster like it's slightly faster let's see what's going on we have a full belt of paper this um actually kind of makes sense this problem that we are having It does make lots of sense because if we start sending more than purple belt of uh, input here how many do we have we have eight here and eight here yeah if we start sending more than purple belt we will not really be able to consume it i think right how could we improve the consumption? Let's think. So, in theory... Right, let, let's, let's fix this. So, it seems that situation is not that bad up to here. It's basically like half. So, let's get this half. 
we can uh, no not like this what could we do how could we bring all of this to the left that's the question well actually this part needs to go to the right it doesn't need to go to the left so that is like that should be relatively easy right we're basically doing something like that and then we'll turn this and have it merging just like that and here we'll say that the output is to the left we'll try to push everything kind of further here we will say output to the right output to the right that's how we want it to work. This part will uh, be improved. Uh, and here we can do something like uh, like this, right? Okay, let's maybe do it there. Should not think about it. We can do this stuff uh, over there, and we probably want to use. Um, we probably want to use purple. Thank you. A purple there. This part is blue, and up to like from there. Okay, up to right. Yeah, it's also gonna be right. And we want all of that to basically be purple. Okay, we want to say input priority, wait, input priorities from the left, from the right. We want to prioritize this part as much as we can. Oh, look at that. We are finally, we are finally experiencing issues with the output. This is great. This is a really great uh, situation to be in when you are having issues with the... Oh, we cannot, cannot improve this part. That's not good, but there is a way. There is a way to solve the problem, right? Let's just move it here and you place uh, a splitter so that's the way you kind of load things using loaders when you don't have a, like for faster belts when you don't actually have a set of faster belts what are we missing we're missing one splitter somewhere i do not understand which one we're trying to upgrade. I didn't see it there. I didn't see it anywhere. It probably was the splitter. Okay, good. Now, let's see. Uh, input priority. Uh, well, actually, input priority, we probably want to prioritize things from the right here. Let's think about it. And here is probably the same. We want to prioritize things from the left. That's probably how we want it to work. Right, and we can do something like that. So this thing will be built very, very soon. And once it's built, we should see a significant increase in our, our wooden board production. Because right now, like in the past, uh, two blue belts were enough. Well, like, clearly enough, that's uh, 90 wooden boards. And now, two blue belts are not enough. That... Uh... Honestly, I don't really... It's 60, 120. I don't believe we have 120 here. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't think this part and this part can actually fit this much. So, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like some internal buffers, but... Uh... The point still kind of stands that we did what we could to make this part better, 
halt. We can actually in theory do something like that to speed this part up and uh, we could I guess speed this part up as well I'm not sure how helpful that's gonna be but you know it's it's something it's something and now um, we still are going through the buffer we're still going through the buffer Interesting. Uh, this Turbo Express. So we seem to have a problem with uh, this part of the belt now. Very surprising. The stuff is full. It's very surprising. Okay, let's wait a little bit. I, I want to make sure that paper is uh, in a pretty good shape. Because, um, right, using beacons here doesn't make sense, because it would reduce the number of entities, but uh, it increase our power demands, and I don't want to, like, stack problems kind of on top of each other, right? I, I don't want to be thinking about power, etc, etc, and what if, uh, if we, like, use too much power here and then we will not be able to use it on something uh, more interesting like uh, maybe this part right I just I just don't want I just don't want that let's see we seem to be able to slowly clear the problem with the, like the buffers built up buffers uh, over here. This is good. This is uh, looking really good. We could even do something like that. To speed this up just a tiny bit. But it doesn't seem like we actually need to because all of this are green. They're working non-stop and I don't really see any issues on this front to be honest. Nice. Uh, liquor is in a good shape we sped this part up everything is uh, looking pretty good to be honest okay let's take another look right we overbuilt on the belts here that's okay that is okay let's take another look so if you look at uh, 10 last 10 minutes we Okay, we used to have wooden boards up to 5,000 per minute. And now we're at 5.9. I am not sure whether it's enough. I think if, if it's not enough, we'll have to just copy it or something. Mm. Yeah, that's that's not good. We can scale it uh, further. And maybe we'll do it slightly differently next time. Maybe we'll do it without this uh, uh, wires. We'll focus just on wooden boards. Yeah, we could have a separate and dedicated wooden board production. Okay, so we did um, that part. Now, if we go to green circuits here. Yeah. Actually, let's uh, go there and check how Maybe we have 28, and what's the... I want to go back, I want to check the limit. I, I want us to build a pretty huge... Oh wait, that's a lot of... Uh... That is a lot of... Paper. Let's consume all of that. I want all that paper to be gone, because... Uh, right, 50,000. We want to have 50,000, but we have 153. Okay. We'll um, get rid of all the paper here. Okay, well, this is going to that side. 
which uh, doesn't leave many things here. But I mean, it's fine. If this part can actually consume the whole belt, I'll let this part do that, right? We'll let this part consume this belt of uh, paper. So now the station here should be a little bit uh, cleared up. And what I do want, I would like to have... Okay, we are getting up to 100 of this. That's good. So this block should be in okay condition now. Let's go to green circuits and let's try to understand what is uh, actually happening with them. We have 4 plus 2 here and this part we basically just ignoring it I guess completely. Uh, should we ignore that actually because... Right, why don't we do the following? Why don't I grab this whole thing? and upgrade it. We need crazy amounts of inserters. So probably regular stock inserters. Let me go to the mall and increase the buffer a little bit. It's this inserters, right? Right? No. This one's no. Express inserters, the regular ones. Really? Right, we're picking up our all of them. Let's say we want uh, 150. Let's say we want like 100 of this. And we want 100 of this. Something like that. And while we're at it, let's also say we want 100 of these inserters. So the robots are definitely doing something. And now what I'd like, I would like to I'd like to configure this thing. Oh, wait. Modeling certain. Like that. Let's say... How does this mod work? Let's say we want to have this machine. And we want to have... Uh, like, many of this. And two speed models. And for the other machine, we want... Again, lots of these things. And how many speed models? Let's maybe go for... What should we do? Apply changes? What, what does it mean? Okay, so now how would it work here when we cannot, well, we can actually insert uh, prod models here. There, there got to be something that doesn't support models. Right, this part doesn't support prod models. This one does. So if you try to apply it to here. The city model can only be used on intermediate products. Interesting. So this is all upgraded, right? So we could just do it like that. We could say give me a lot of prod models. Actually, uh, now that we did it, let's see. Four Plus two. What does that mean? We go to modules. Four of this is lowering speed by 12%. So it's 48%. And two of this increase the speed by 30. So overall it's like a plus. It's a speed. It's a speed up. And if you have three, like four of this. Yeah, we cannot cover it with just one uh, model. So let's uh, let's see what will happen with our green circuit production. And also just maybe we should improve the belts here to be like uh, blue belts. I think that's a good idea. Because we are having pro problems with this uh, build, right? And if we are having problems we better do something about that. We better fix that. Okay, so the only problem here is with this. With copper cables. We are trying to... 
Can you do it per recipe somehow? Open. I mean, even like that, it's it's pretty good, right? Even if you use it like this, it's still uh, got to do something nice. So the throughput of speed models. I'm actually a little bit worried that this belts just might not be enough to handle the load. So how about I speed this part up? I speed this one up, and then we'll have significantly faster belts going here, here. Yeah, right. And the problem that uh, is that we can't really load it. Uh, where are the loaders? I want to get the loaders. Wait, what? No. No way. Where is Loader Redux? We don't have Loader Redux. It don't work with Pops. I, I don't believe that. I do not believe that. Loaders. The player. Do we need to add like some extra compatibility mod? Um... I'll take a look at that, but that's a huge problem because I want to have a load. I, I want to be using load Redux mod, and uh, I want it to work with uh, better belts, with better Bob's belts. Let's take a look. What what is going on here? This thing is working really really fast. This thing, we are outputting stuff as fast as we can. We cannot go any further. But all right, this belt it's not fast enough. This belt not fast enough. Makes sense. Let's wait a little bit. I'd like to kind of observe this and uh, make sure that uh, this green line looks good. So right now we have a problem with deliveries of the with deliveries of the iron actually well not really we have problems with iron only over here on this side which is slightly surprising like why this side is different this both have red all oh, right this is fully blue no this is not fully blue this is, has red stuff as well on the other hand iron you know, is able to reach the very last assembly machine and the problem here is uh, wait don't tell me it's power it's power oh That's very, very interesting. Maximum consumption is 150. Wait, 100? We are trying to consume 200, but that means that all of this uh, will start uh, uh, blowing up now. Oh no, I might have broke the build. And we are kind of lucky. Because we are sending only half of it for some reason. Why are we sending only half of it there? Let's take a look. Where is screen circuits? Screen circuits are here. Alright, of course, of course. It's just just broken completely. 
Alright. That's not good what we have here. Not good at all. So we can have that half. Powering that build, it's already kind of connected. Let's take a look. Here. Yeah. Okay, I figured out a solution to the problem. We will do things like that. Basically, add a connection here. With this connection, we should be able to remove this transformer, which should. Uh, give more power we should send more power to this block the problem here now will be caused by the fact that uh, we yep exactly by that that we have too high of a consumption over here that's not good that is not good but i feel like we should be able to do something about that. That shouldn't be a huge problem. Things also gone. Take a look. Um, we don't have a great coverage. Well, it's it's okay because of the connection over there. But ideally, I would actually like to have. A Okay, let, let's say we'll, we'll build it here. I'd like to have a rubber port right right there. Something like this. Okay, the problem is that... The problem... Is that we need to properly give power to this block. This block, uh, it also needs power. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. And it's relying on the power poles. Okay, now it's working, actually. And it doesn't require that much. What is the issue? What What is going on here? Why is that? We are missing copper seems we could uh, speed up unloading of these things to be honest we could make it work kind of like this like that like that and this part could be done similarly right. yep so now the size of this uh, part of this block should become like significantly faster. Like unloading should become like really really fast now. And copy this thing to improve our balancing speed a little bit. And uh, yeah, this is the fastest. Uh, well, I guess balancing and unload unloading of the chains that uh, I could uh, think of. It's not that bad. It's definitely significantly faster than uh, you know two row designs or designs with like and you know, loaders or some other stuff. Like this is very very good stuff that we have here. Now now what is happening? Yeah, we don't have copper plates. That seems to be the problem. Yeah, bringing some charcoal here. What's uh, happening with copper? I don't like. I do not like the fact that we are short on copper. We are trying to export things. Um. Wait. Are we just like unable to export stuff? Is is that the issue that we are having? Because if that's the case, then I mean the fix is uh, kind of very very straightforward, just like that, right?
This cannot be it. We cannot heal, but totaled on the output here. Can we? Okay, so we are, we've loaded uh, 13,000 already. That's, that's not a lot, actually. That is not a lot. Does this thing accept world models? It does! Wow! That's very, very interesting. So we should be able to world model the ores. That is super interesting. Okay. We upgraded this belt. Things are going in there. They're getting loaded. Pretty quickly. 50,000. Everything 50,000, basically. That's a good idea. I mean, we have lots of space here. Maybe we should increase this thing to 100,000. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Let's have a lot of this coils here. And speaking of that, we could also add some plot models here, can't we? Just to make this part a little bit more efficient, I think. I think that wouldn't hurt. Shouldn't hurt. Mm, none of this is supposed to accept plot models, right? Yep, none of, none of these things are accepting plot models, which is okay. Honestly, that's fine. So it doesn't, it doesn't, yeah. I would be surprised actually if uh, like angels uh, or processing uh, was uh, supporting like too many prod modules. Okay, stuff is getting loaded. Good. So we'll get copper. Uh, we should like our dashboard should be showing us that we have a shortage of copper. Right, we do have shortage of copper coils. That's not good. That is not good. Um, should I try to speed model the thing? Because in theory I could just place a bunch of random speed models in here, right? They shouldn't really hurt. I don't think adding a couple of speed models here and there would really hurt the build. So we're adding some speed models and everything here should be looking great. Should work. Uh, this part, okay, just in case it's actually our bottleneck, let's speed model this uh, as well. Okay, and now I think we have a problem. We have a tiny problem. We gotta upgrade this belt <laughs> again. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It is fine. We'll upgrade it like this. And the purple one is two times the red one. Yep. So we don't actually need to change the loading here. We don't need to upgrade it to blue one yet. I mean, if this helps us, that uh, actually would be great. If this allows us to get even more uh, copper mm, coils, these things. I'm not sure what's going on there, but that would be a good thing, right? If you know, from 2.7 to 3.3, I mean. That's a lot, that's a lot of coils to be honest, so I am uh, not gonna complain, that's, that should be helpful. The thing that I'm actually worried about here is, where is my green circuit production? This block, power consumption here was 200. I don't think we can leave it on uh, this power post to be honest. I feel like we got a 
Wait, we gotta delete the spark pulse. And we have to figure out something better. Okay, let's do that. So, all power pulse again. Now, we can grab uh, this thing, substation, and uh, we could place the substation, for example, here. We disconnected, obviously. Alright, we'll actually have a line of substations and like that. And all of them are gonna be disconnected from this uh, main line. Good. Oh, wait. Why I cannot reach? Come on. Alright, let's add the connection back. So now this part will be powered like this. Now we have power here. Next, let's press it. Let's add some power here. Let me see here. We need to do something uh, over here as well, right? We could add power there. Um, what else can we do here? I mean, in theory, if we moved this part up like that, that would allow us to add a substation right here. Or maybe right here. Here it's better because it covers this uh, inserters as well. Oh, uh, wait. It's connected for now. And we need to grab our wires. Okay, let's do that. And have connection going from there and actually even from there. Nice. So we have uh, something done here. So one, two, um, is it enough. It is actually enough, that's good. Okay, we could have uh, something on this side. One and two it should also be enough. Here we could have uh, stuff placed here. One and two. This should cover this whole side. And uh, actually, even this combinators. Now, for the part down there, how do we connect all of that? I think we just do it like this. One, two. We have this part covered. And over here, what do we want? I want to have a port here. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, what? What is this? Carbon and tin copper wire. I am not sure I understand what's happening here, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm not sure what's this. Because uh, this part seemed uh, a little bit broken to me, to be honest. It's like as if we tried to copy something, but we couldn't quite do that. Wow. Very, very strange. Oh, it's, it's broken in here. Um, okay, let's assume that's the fix, but... It 
uh, is looking somewhat strange. It's looking somewhat strange, to be honest. Okay, let's uh, copy this part, and I want to kind of paste it. Uh, I don't know. How should we do that? Where do I paste it? I think I want to paste it here. Right, can go like that. Except for that part, except for that part. And uh, over here. Why do we have this? Going to the side. I don't think we need it. Actually. Um. All right. Oh, very strange things are happening here. Very, very strange. But uh, it's okay, and we kind of have a tiny issue actually. Yeah, the issue is uh, with this inserters at the very edge. We need to do something about them. Okay, let's say build stuff here. We'll connect it to this. To this, to this, and to this. And now we kind of want to do the same thing on this side, I think. Like something like that. I feel like that should be enough what we are trying to do. And here we have the robot delivering it. Okay, let's double check. Let's see again what is happening. Are we getting more green circuits now or not? Honestly, it looks like we are getting more, but we just are not quite able to unload them fast enough, which is uh, a bit um, unfortunate. So, how do we improve? Unloading of the service. I think we just do something like that. Yep, like this. It's not the greatest thing, but uh, it's probably fine. It's probably fine for now. Okay, nice. Let's observe again what is happening here. We are missing. A tiny. We're missing two inserters. This part is fully covered. That is great. I am. Um... Actually, you know what? We'll do it differently. We will have it fully prod modeled. We'll have it fully prod modeled in order to save on. Uh... On the resources will this be enough or not that's the question and i can see already that that is not enough so let's uh, add one speed model here will this be enough with one speed module or not okay so if the belt backs up that's good so the belt looks to be Not quite backed up. Okay, we'll we'll give it some time. Make sure everything is uh, fine there. Yeah. Can we have too many copper cables? How about we give them? What are we trying to get here? We are trying to get copper. All right, this thing. How about we make this stuff fully prod modeled? Like that. I think it might be better because here the speed is 3.31. Here the speed is... Oh wow, that's a huge difference in speed. Productivity plus 13 hits plus 18. 
that's um, actually a huge difference in speed. Let's see, but at least we are trying to uh, be kind of conscious of the issues uh, with uh, the copper. We are, we are trying to not waste copper too much. Let's see what's happening here. All, like this whole part seems to be working. Right, we are not getting enough uh, iron over there. I don't get enough iron. Let's uh, give the thing enough iron. So we do it like this and we'll update the wells, I believe. I feel like we should do that. Okay, um, great planner. Create this part and this part, pretty please. And now we can. Uh, just go and do something like that. We don't need to upgrade the belt till the very end. I just... Uh, I, I, I just like to have my belts kind of fully upgraded to a particular um, level. Okay. This part, let's see. Here. 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 Now, upgrading this part. That part this part and this one this one and this one and this door even though the end of the belt doesn't have to be upgraded let's see did this improve the station i am honestly yeah i i, I don't think that works the way i wanted it to work so let's uh, do something like this. Let's say we'll still keep one um, one speed module, so that the speed hit is not that uh, significant. Right? Let's do it like this. We want the spot to be basically full on uh, output copper plates. That's the idea. That is the idea. Wait, we need wooden boards here. How come? We are sending all of them to the left. All wooden boards are going there. And I guess they are used there. It's... It's okay. It's okay. It's a little bit strange. Like this whole thing. Like the way we are doing it. But I feel that this should be an improvement um, for our situation with uh, with green circuits at least let's take a look so if we look at green circuits wait circuits at this stuff in the last hour so last hour is our episode right we went from 3.7 to a jump to 7.2. So we basically doubled green circuits. And before that, yeah, it was all capped at 3.7. Now it's really 7.3. So now this build suddenly became even better. So far, we don't seem to be having problems with the charcoal. So I wouldn't really be so sure about that to be honest so we could uh, suddenly start experiencing difficulties uh, here in my opinion we could uh, speed this ones up we could even which is better upgrade them to better liquefiers and we could do something with like charcoal uh, production above but so far it's running it's working we're getting stuff from that side, we're getting stuff from here. So we have full two blue belts of brown circuits. Interesting. And they are feeding this build. And brown circuits to green circuits. Wait, is it like one to one? 
basically one basic thing to get the board. And we need one second board to right. It's it's one to one ratio. We are sending only half belt, however, we have productivity modules here, right? It's this part that is um, using productivity plus 24, and here plus 24, so... Um, yeah, basically from half a belt of brown circles we could get uh, more, quite a bit more than half a belt of uh, green circuits. And one thing that I... I was gonna say I don't quite like, the fact that it's all kind of one-sided. Like this part, and placed further. This is placing stuff further. This one is placing placing stuff on the close side. This one on the close side. This one on the far one. Close one. Close one. Far. Far. Right. Okay, this is close. That one is far. Now it should work a tiny bit better. So here we have it. That's 60 items per second, so we're getting 120 green circuits per second. Let's take another look. 7.4. It seems to be stable so far, but uh, I'm um, slightly concerned actually about paper. Sorry, wooden boards. I am not sure whether we have enough. Well, so far... We don't seem to be having issues here, to be honest. Nice! It took a little bit long, but we somehow doubled from 3.7 to 7.4. Well, not, not really, not really 7.4. It's like 7.2, but it's, it's fine. We basically doubled the amount of green circuits that we are producing, which is Huge. That's great. That's really, really good. If we go look at our dashboard, we should... Uh, we should... Uh, resolve. The shortage of... Like, the shortage of green circuits should be resolved now. And uh, in the next episode, I guess we can focus on uh, red circuits. I am actually a little bit worried about the... Uh, I, I'm slightly worried about the power here, to be honest, to be perfectly honest, because, yeah, the power usage, it's barely enough as it is to power this um, green circuit build. So I'm not sure what we could do with this. And green circuit build requires how much now? Oh, it's actually out of power. It uses 160 megawatts. So this is a pretty huge like usage of power. This one is also pretty huge. This thing... Okay, we got 100. That's good. Um... I'm not sure what's the problem here. I mean, we could just do something like, you know, something simple. Say that we'd like to grade all of that and hope it works. And since we are doing it here, we might as well do it in the second place. I don't know whether that's gonna be enough or not. It shouldn't hurt the build because uh, uh, here speed modules are compensating for the slowness of uh, prod modules. So if we go back to our green circuit build, if we go back to green circuit build, uh, this thing has a crafting speed plus 12%. Uh, uh, this thing is actually kind of custom. Uh, right, this is standard one. This has crafting speed plus 24%, right? This is a little bit slower. Minus 18, but it's still enough to give us uh, enough copper here. So, yeah, it seems to be working what we are doing here. We should probably, like, really rework this and uh, uh, start, like, using lots and lots of speed beacons for that. Maybe with some efficiency models, now that I think about it. 
Maybe it's time to start using them in these kinds of builds. But uh, yeah, for now. Uh, actually, I, I took I took a look uh, at like Yav kind of program planning tool uh, to take a look at the ratios, and somehow Yav told me that if we compare this kind of build that is fully prod, prod modeled, well, not exactly the way it's here, but we have like all prod modules everywhere, and uh, versus and no beacons versus if you put model everything and fully beacon it then the beacon setup will be cheaper power wise at least uh, if you look at the costs of the assembly machines themselves i'm not sure how it uh, affects the costs of the like it didn't include the costs of the beacons themselves right but at least uh, the cost of machines was like three times cheaper like instead of 180 megawatts it was like 60 or something um, so maybe it's actually not such a better of an idea to look into fully beacon setups. But look at that, we are getting constant 120 green circuits per second. I like it. I really like it. And yeah, I, I, I don't see what we could improve here. If the station is able to like unload the resources which I think it should be well maybe we need to speed up solder loading actually risky if it can handle it we shouldn't really have any problems here um, with this build whatsoever nice um, let's take a break here thanks everyone for watching this was episode 203 where we were uh, fixing our green circuit uh, shortage I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!